Yeah, well, Sounds I, pretty I, I, would, I would still recommend not leaving C.D. Lamb yeah, on one. And even though your other wide receivers had career days as Cowboys against the New York Giants, let's not forget that it was against the New York Giants, <laughs> please. And while you should feel that way, mm-hmm. and he looks very dapper and handsome, great outfit right there. He's got the nice necklace on, the whole bit, like, full. That's, that's how the Cowboy franchise quarterback <laughs> should look after a big blowout win, knowing that they're going to blow the Panthers out also. But... Slow your roll just a little bit because C.D. Lamb is a rock star. The other wide receivers have been largely disappointing in big spots. Yeah, they have been disappointing, but the fact that they got back on track, I agree 100% with Dak. Right now, the way he's playing, with the confidence that he's going out and the belief that he's stepping on that field with, you better cover everybody. And the number one person better be 8-8 because he's what's allowing them to get going and allowing those guys, those others, to get those one-on-one favorable matchups. If he can start to find them, it will open up their running game, and this offense will be challenging to stop. We know who they are defensively. They're going to get stops. They're going to get takeaways. They're going to put the ball back in Dallas's hands and Dak hands. And if this guy right here can have half the game that he had against the Giants, I understand it was a Giant. Yeah. Moving forward, tough. Yeah. Tough the, the, the only listen. Forward. The only concern for them is the running attack. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. they're going to have to run the ball at some point. I don't think Pollard's had a good game. I, I disagree with that. Go. I, I disagree. Have with they, that. Have they ran the ball well in a, in a single game? I disagree. I Why? completely disagree with that because. As, as someone who's won a Super Bowl, yeah. you know this. We sure. experienced it with you guys. We didn't run the ball well, but what we did, we threw the ball. We were, we were confident. We knew who we were. If Just because it gets late in the season, everyone says you got to be able to run the ball. Well, what you got to be able to do is something great. Right now, what the Dallas Cowboys do great is they throw the ball because Dak Prescott's not turning it over. He's finding open guys, and CeeDee Lamb has been a rock star. If they can continue to do that, they will they will have Fair their enough. running game. In and sports. by the way, Kansas City's won Super Bowls without a quote-unquote no, running game, game. Yeah. and they use the short, quick pass like a running game. So that, that is fair. Sometimes we overstate cliches, but – it's better to have a running game, it obviously. Is. Yeah. It is. Well, I mean, you also got to give Dak a lot of credit. Coming off that bye week after the loss they took against San Francisco, he's been money, right? You talk about the way he played against the Chargers, beat up on the Rams, had a great game against the Eagles, even though he lost pretty much yep. carried that team. Except, she, remember, he did miss a wide open. Don't do that out. again. <laughs> and, uh, and, and even you talk about against the Giants. Overall, man, what you're excited, what you're excited about, they probably took the, they took the handcuffs off of him. Because at the beginning of the season, it was Dink and Dak, right? Dink and Dak. Now, mm-hmm. he's taking his shots. Brandon Cooks is coming to fruition. Gap now C.D. Lamb. So you have to be confident in the way he's playing, but solely because of him, man. All of a sudden, nobody's questioning uh, Kellen Moore's uh, firing either, huh? No. no. All of a sudden, yeah. right? And I just want to give Greg the opportunity on national TV to acknowledge, as I do when I rarely make a mistake, <laughs> that your insistence back in August – are we bringing this? I'm just saying, I think it's a good chance for you to apologize we, to America. I've done Because you're not going to be here during Thanksgiving. So, uh, the camera's on you, Greg. What'd what would you, you say, like to Greg? say about you say? Yo, your, I don't know your what you said. take back in August? What, what take? You know, you know the one. A couple. You know the one. What, the you know Denver the Broncos are contenders? No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good luck. I'm, I'm saying this. I forgot. There's two of them then. The Bronco one, which is a joke, I will put that in the trash. We'll burn that one for you. No Daniel problem. Jones got hurt, so we couldn't Daniel we Jones. couldn't see the season remember unfold. When, remember when you said that Daniel Jones is better than Dak? <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Why, that? why are we bringing up? Oak because Park? it's the end of the year. So you do not. We were. In, I was in the hospital with Daniel Jones. He was on life support. That's true. It, it's that over. True. That's yeah, true. it is over. Yes, you said your your last respect. Moving on to our third headline. Bengals offensive coordinator Brian Callahan didn't waste any time hyping up the huge Thursday night game between the Bengals and the Ravens. It's just Tuesday, but it's already brewing. Here's what he said, quote, it's going to be a battle. There's going to be a lot in the line in these games coming up. It feels like a playoff game in November. Does the winner of this game win the division? Uh, if, if the no. Baltimore Ravens win this game, I think they are going to win the division. I can't say the same about the Bengals because I don't trust them just yet. Now, they played earlier this year. Burrow, of course, was not 100%. I give Cincinnati credit. I think it was 27-24, much closer than what people thought because he wasn't there. We're going to see how the Bengals react to a bad loss because you know, that's what that was against the Bengals, yep. a bad loss when uh, Boyd drops the ball in the you end zone the for the you know, to win the game. Yeah. Ravens coming yeah. off a bad loss sure. as well, giving up more than 30 points to the Cleveland Browns. I love this game. I would recommend you do not wager on this game Thursday night (laughs) and enjoy it for what it is. 
a playoff game between divisional rivals in the best division in the NFL. Two great quarterbacks, other great players, whether it's Jamar Chase on one side or you know, pick your poison, the best rookie wide receiver in football, Zay Flowers, OBJ, Mark Andrews on the other side. This is NFL football at its best. Pop some popcorn, get on the couch, and enjoy it. Yeah, I wouldn't be worried. Everybody knows the division is going to go through Pittsburgh after they play. Yeah, everybody knows what that. happened? Everybody knows that. Why is there so much pushback? Everybody knows that. Yeah, everybody knows that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Everyone is, knows it, it except for the Ravens, the yeah. Steelers. The I mean, Browns, are, are we not in second place there? Is that not a undefeated? Are we not two in the division? Yes, you are. What's the issue? I don't yeah. understand what you guys have to. <laughs> Why is the team. poor body language with you guys? Well, let's get back to Ravens Bengals oh, okay. just for a moment, if we can. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's just yeah, steer away from the Steelers. Yeah, I guess the question is. Guys aren't believers. Both teams coming off bad losses, late losses, you know, a uh, field goal to, to beat both teams on uh, what amounts to the last play of the game. So both teams refocused. Neither team has the advantage from that standpoint yeah. where you got a team coming off a bad loss, etc. And again, it's a hard game to figure out because the Bengals played them tough. To be fair, you go back to last year in the playoffs, no Lamar Jackson, yeah. and they played the Bengals tough. They know everything both sides do, and this should be a barn burner. Yeah, short week. Yeah, so losses that you just experienced, which both teams did, you can't. You don't have any time to really go over that film and dive into why you lost and what you could have done better. You got to move on, and there's no better way than to move on to the be, have a short week against a divisional opponent. However, I believe that the Bengals need this more than the Ravens. Oh, Clearly, yeah, trip. like right. they, they, yep. we don't know if T. Higgins is gonna play. It's like it, all, it doesn't even matter. You have to Let find a, a way question. to get out of this game with a win. Yeah. You had a legendary career, so I'm asking a question that may not be an answer to. But when you go back and see Boyd dropping the ball in the end zone, that would have won the game for them, and then sitting dejected on the sideline. I don't know if you've been in that exact spot before, but what do the Bengals do around him? Great player. Mm-hmm. Need him to get refocused and back you know, on his game. I'm assuming he can't just drop it and forget it because he's going to take responsibility. I cost us the game. I'm responsible for us not winning that game mm-hmm. and maybe missing the playoffs. What do you do for a receiver like that going into this game? Well, as a receiver, you want another opportunity to get back on the right track. So if I'm if I am the Cincinnati Bengals and Callahan, the offense coordinator, I try to get him the ball early. Right away. Just to get it out of his mind and move forward. Because it, the last thing that you want as a receiver is that bad taste in your mm-hmm. mouth, especially if your team isn't able yeah. to overcome it. Like, all the losses, all the mishaps that we saw last night with Josh Allen, his team still possibly had a chance to overcome it. He was going to be at the press conference and be like, whoo, I played terrible, but we found a way to win. Yeah. Well, they didn't, and it was because of t- that drop. You can't allow that to linger, or it could potentially bite you again. In so go game. to him right away Absolutely. if you can. Yeah, I want to say this. I, I, for the Bengals, this may be the most physical game they play all year because the Ravens play defense. And I think when you talk about the Bengals as an entirety, you know, they've been able to keep Josh, uh, jo- Joe Burrow, excuse me, clean. He may get beat up this game. Like they, Baltimore Ravens lead the league in sacks, right? They they do a hell of a job of getting after the quarterback, and they blitz and they light up. So as much as we love Joe Cool, yeah, he may be in a heater come tomorrow uh, night. We are 48 hours away from a playoff game, essentially, yeah. yep. just yep. like the Cincinnati Bengals say. And here on the Carton Show, we love playoff games. Yeah, yes, it's, like it's on our letterhead. It goes the Carton Show. They love the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, mission, mission statement. Yeah, mission statement. Uh, just check out our Instagram account. It says it right there. No one In any event. Too. Coming up, more NFL football. We've got winners and losers. Loser. And hey. Christian McCaffrey says, look out, NFL. We know what went on. We learned our lesson and a few other things as well. And we'll let you hear from Christian McCaffrey right after this. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.